hello good day guys you're welcome again to my channel and this is joshua the designer i am here as always to give you amazing content in case you're new to my channel you can use the like button and also subscribe to the channel so that you may catch all my content as soon as they drop and you get better with structural engineering also you may be doing well by sharing with your friends your colleagues that should get better in this line okay today i've come with a very amazing tutorial but simple one as it is and i'll be showing to you how to apply your wall load to all to your beams on product structure right so there are several things that your um several loads that your beam can support and transmit and some of which are the slab loads the loads transmitted from the slab um, another could be the load that is transferred from another beam all right so forming a point load on the specific beam in question then another could be the wall load directed or directly on the spans of your beams right so and some other kind of loads now so considering the wall load today i want to show you how you can always apply your wall load to your beams using product structure now and in doing this i would like that you um, follow me right so and ensure that you like this video and subscribe to this channel so that we can be on the same page on all of our tutorials as soon as it drops right so we are going to be making two different assumptions and one assumption will be that i'm assuming that in this in the architecture that we framed out this um, general arrangement drawing for the purpose um, it has wall on every span of the beams so the first assumption will be that all my beams are supporting walls right and the second assumption i like that to work with um, will be that specific beams are supporting walls and not all beams carry wall loads right so i like that you pay attention now so going forward now would um work with the first assumption that all my beams are supporting wall loads okay so follow me as we go yes now walls are construction materials of course we know and um, they have unit weight and um, they are effective in um, the application of our designs we cannot ignore um, the wall loads while we are designing because they constitute major loads in our design okay so what we want to do now is to apply the wall load so this first thing i do you select a particular span on on your general arrangement of any beam on your general arrangement then you look for a deep beam wall loads beam wall load so we want to apply beam wall load now so selecting that now uh we can now come here now i like to speak about the wall unit weight now there are different kind of walls and of course once we have different kind of walls they possess different unit weight right so and um, i would like that you pay attention to the application of this unit weight so that you can be getting it correctly right so for um the walls now we have 225 mm block walls and um 225 mm block wall will possess a unit weight of 2.87 right and we also have 150 mm concrete block wall and that one also has a different wall unit weight right so that one will be 2.15 right so it, it, we have different kind of wall walls right so they possess different unit weights depending on the the kind of um size the shape and the material um it is being made with off right so i want you to pay attention to that also now i will assume that i am using a 2 to 5 mm block work here and the unit weight will be 2.87 so i'll apply 2.87 as the unit weight of my block wall now this wall height now you need to pay attention here also yes because applying your wall height means that you are giving us the height at which your wall extends vertically right and in the case where you're working with um, walls that are directly 
below um, beams, right? So you need to remove the beam drop depth from the from the um, floor to floor height, right? I hope you get what I'm saying. So if we have a three meter um, high floor, right? A floor to floor distance is three meters. So and you want to have you have walls directly below certain beams on the upper floor so this is what you do you have to remove the thickness of your slab remove the thickness of the drop of your beams below the slab soffit so then you now calculate um, the remainder that is what will give you the the height of your wall so that is correct so assuming a three meter a three meter floor to floor height now i want you to pay attention now assuming a three meter floor to floor height now and I want to determine what the wall height will be, seeing that I have my walls directly under uh, a 450 by 25 um, beam. So what I do is I have three meters, then I'll sub subtract 450. So subtracting 450 now will give me 2.55, 2.55. So having that 2.55 now will be the wall height, right? Now, or another person might do it as having three meters minus the thickness of the slab whatever it is probably a 150 thick slab then having a 150 thick slab means that you are having a remainder of 300 as the drop of your beam below the soffit of your slab so remo removing that also will still give you 2.55 okay i really hope you get that but in case you have any difficulty around understanding that please use the comment section as i'll be there to answer all that is your question okay so for the wall thickness i said we're using a 225 mm thick uh, block wall so 25 mm block wall rather 25 mm block wall so we have wall thickness in meters so we have 0.225 right okay so i believe you understand all that we just did here so we press ok now this is done on one particular span of beam okay so what you now do next is to right click then copy what you've just done which is copy beam wall load copy it then you come the same way i taught you how to highlight all your beams you select the first one holding down your shift key then you go to the last beam then you click now that already alighted everything so then you can now right click then paste copied beam loads then you can paste copied beam loads so pasting copied beam loads let's see the effect and um, we'll know what we have so now this is it your wall loads have been copied and pasted on all other beam span so you have it right here so this is our first assumptions and how to apply your beam wall load to all your spans um, at once okay so what if in the case where i want to apply it on selected beams only right so applying on selected beams only will be that i would go a step behind which was what we did at first by applying the wall load on one span of our beam on this general arrangement and um, you come here and copy what you just did you copy beam wall loads copying it then you select the particular beam for example i want to apply beam load on these two beam 59 and two beam 60 then i look for it right here um, holding down my my shift key 59 um and control rather control this time rather 59 60 okay probably i want to add um this also 58 and 24 then i come 58 holding your control key this time and 24 yes so having done that assuming that's all that i want to do then you right click having right click then you paste copied beam wall loads so copying beam wall loads has actually done this for us and you have your beam wall loads applied on your beams okay so this is how you're going to go about it if you have any questions around this tutorial please use the comment section i'll be right there to reply you and give you all that you need to get better 
thank you for hanging around i am joshua the designer please ensure that you like this video and subscribe to this channel thank you we'll see you in the next tutorial bye